Hey guys, Princess Threx, and I am here with Carly Jo and Candace from Surprise Owen Style. And today we are hanging out and doing Christmassy things, and we decided to film the Holly Jolly Tag, which Holly. none of us has done. It's the so. second one. So it's second edition. Yeah, you'll get our answer. Holly Jolly perspectives. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go down the line, I guess. I'll yeah. read the question, then we'll go down. Okay. Oh, oh, and if you couldn't tell, we have a Santa, Aww. we have reindeer, and we have an elf. We determined before the video that I said I was the best because I'm Santa, and then they had their comebacks. Exactly, <laughs> but she wouldn't get anywhere if it wasn't for me. And I just said it was my camera, so, you know. Well, I, no, I, I didn't have to do with Christmas. We, she would have nothing to, to deliver if it yeah. wasn't yeah. for more. Exactly. Okay, so into the questions, because there are 15, so we'll start now. Um, number one, do you start your quiz, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait till the last minute? You go first. This year I waited to the last minute. I did some of <laughs> No, actually, no, I didn't do any on Black Friday. I waited till the last minute. I went to a concert on Black Friday, but ordinarily I go shopping. But, I mean, on Black Friday I kind of just hit up all the sales, regardless whether I'm shopping for myself or for others. So I feel like I just shop throughout December. Like, I got some presents, like, you know, remotely after Black Friday. And then some, like, this week. And I still have some to get, so... I feel like it was it's hard this year. Ooh. I don't care. About it's my phone. I don't care. Um, I feel like it was hard this year because we our classes didn't end until like we have really the weekend late. and then it's Christmas Eve and Christmas. Yeah. So, but it sounds bad. But on Black Friday, I usually Black shop for, for myself. myself. Yeah, I do yeah too. me too. I feel like that's what you do, and then I get presents when I see them. But yeah, exactly. Like throughout December, I sort of gather. Yeah, items. like I have an idea of what I want to get the person, but it's just actually but going. But the and good getting thing it. is. We all managed to get each other presents before today. Yay! <laughs> I was getting stuff like up until this morning. Yesterday. I've been getting stuff. I had to go this morning Whatever. to get stuff. You did it. I, so. It happened. But number two. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? Ooh. Um any Christmas movie? I don't really watch Christmas movies. Oof. Like I like Holiday and Handcuffs. Off the island. On ABC Family. Locked I watch all the ABC <laughs> Family movies. So Holiday and Handcuffs is my favorite. That's the one I would want. Ooh, that one. Mario Lopez really is in it too. It's so I wouldn't hot. mind to be married to Mario Lopez. Oh, he's so funny. He just got married. Okay. He did. He I did. yeah. Um, I feel like my go-to answer would be Elf because it's like I would say it's my favorite movie, but yeah. I think that my real answer to this question would be the Santa Claus. Like any of them, but I guess the first one because just the North Pole setting is really fun. You know, yeah. like I feel like being an elf. Whether either, like, I wouldn't want to play Elf, that's, you know, that's Will Ferrell, it's, you know? And I feel like I wouldn't, like, fit into the movie well. But the Santa Claus, I could be either an elf or, like, somewhere in it. And I feel like it would be a lot of fun, because I love that movie, too. So I'd say the Santa Claus. I think I'm going to choose my favorite one, which is The Year Without a Santa Claus, which is one of the either. ABC Family um, animated ones. And it has a lot of singing, and even though I can't sing, I would just love to be in it. <laughs> You guys have such good my answers. Favorite one. <laughs> Mine wasn't even thought through. It was like, well, my favorite one is like Holiday and Handcuffs. Like something like that. Yeah, one. but Holiday and Handcuffs is a really good. Like, a good I didn't question. think about that one. That's one of the original movies. Okay, number three. Which would you prefer, or which do you like better, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas Day. Um, I feel like everyone answered Christmas Eve. Like every, I've watched this tag like a Christmas lot. Christmas Day is kind of bittersweet because at the yeah, end it's, it's over. Like over. You know, you have to I wait. think I like Christmas Day though because Christmas Eve, Me my too. family doesn't really do anything to build up to Christmas. Yeah. Honestly, it's just a bunch of gift wrapping. I mean, yeah, a lot of people have their like huge traditions, like you know, open. Some people open all their presents on Christmas Eve, which yeah. to me is crazy because yeah. I'm like, you save like, it for Christmas December twenty fifth. Yeah. I don't know. I would I would say Christmas, even though Christmas Eve the anticipation is fun. But it's kind of... It's, like, Christmas Day, it's you formal. open presents, and I, like, I travel and everything yeah. and go eat, and so... Christmas yeah. Eve, I think, is more formal, because, like, you get ready for the Christmas Eve service at church and stuff, and yeah. it's, like, you have the fancy sits on dinner, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with formal, I love formal. It looks but like I'm, like, leaning way against you, but it's just leaning on <laughs> <Ew>. the <wall. laughs> It's just super relaxed on Christmas Day, because, like, it's finally Christmas, everyone's happy, you know, I say Christmas Day. It's all Because it's the big deal, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. When does your family put up your Christmas tree, and who decorates it? Well, the tree behind us is my bedroom Christmas tree, which, which is super cute. Super so, so, adorable. Uh, I she upgraded the tree. I she did. Had a little it's actually it's really tall. It's like a bedroom tree, but it's six and a half feet tall. So I want up people who get like the little this high tree. Mm. <laughs> Can't do it. But okay, what was the question again? When, when, you, when, when you put it up? Uh, we this is the first year my family's had a fake tree like in our living room because we have a real green tree. This is the first year we have, so we were able to put it up like right after Thanksgiving. I think. Like the weekend of after Thanksgiving, we put it up. So, and ordinarily we wait a couple of weeks after, but. This year we don't actually have a tree just because we haven't That's actually so gone out sad. to buy one. But, I like, we're not either. ever in our house for Christmas, so. 
there's never really any point in a tree. And we have a huge dog, and he knocks into it and knocks off all the ornaments. So it's just sort of a hassle for us. But normally we get it like two weeks before Christmas and have it up for the last half of December. I so. put this up. When did I put this up? I think I bought it the weekend after um, Thanksgiving. So I put it up like before, like December 1st, somewhere around then. Mm. So it's been up for a while. And I, I guarantee it'll stay up till March. <laughs> in my house, we have two Christmas trees. One, which is in like my dad's man cave, and that stays up all year long. But this year, he didn't actually decorate it, but the tree is up. And then the upstairs one, both of them are fake. And people are like, oh my gosh, you have a fake Christmas tree. Well, my grandma has a real one, but I like fake ones because you can like move the branches so heavy ornaments yeah. stay. And I absolutely I think, adore it. Like but my tree in the living room, I don't, you guys don't really get a good look at it, but it looks really, really real. Exactly. That's like the same with mine. And then we usually it's never so put real. it up until after December 5th because, <laughs> it's <hot. laughs> because that's my dad's birthday and we like don't want to take away the attention from that. But this year we put it up before that just because he didn't care. We I'm over here like, Carly, your body's so warm. I was hot earlier. It's keeping okay. you warm. Um... Uh, White lights or colored lights? White lights. I hate the look of colored lights. I think they look sort of tacky almost, and white looks, white lights look really classy. So that's just my opinion. But I don't really like colored lights at all. I'm honestly totally like, like split down the middle. Like this yeah. tree has to have white lights. If this tree had colored lights, it, it would look, look really psycho. Weird. And <laughs> my house had cause color lights, but actually I think houses with like really pretty white lights turn out better. Um, <laughs> I just looked down the way, the middle yeah. too because I like the look of white lights more, but colored lights that's what what we always yeah. have on the tree. But you know what? Me Any too. lights are good ever. Okay. Are it's you good. guilty of peeking really. at your presents or do you like the surprise? I like the surprise. Me too. The I anticipation the kills surprise. me, honestly. I wish I could just have them now, but I like the surprise. I don't like peeking out too much. Price. I feel really guilty if I accident like like if I'm shopping like for example, the other day I was at Old Navy and I saw like I don't know what I got, but I saw my mom like walk up there with stuff, so I know she got me stuff, you know. But that's that's not really it knowing. Been for me. But oh, psh, duh, no. But I mean, I like I feel really guilty if yeah. I like accidentally find out because it takes away the fun for me. So I um, feel like I don't. I never peeked as a peak, kid, either. and I don't think I peeked as a kid like picking up like the wrapping paper and peeking. But the way I Christmas peaked. morning works <laughs> is that like. I can't, I have to go wake my brothers up and my parents up, but that means, and go to the bathroom or whatever, but that means I walk by where we have Christmas. So I have been known to, like, look in there because Santa doesn't wrap gifts, and, um, well, at least when he delivers them to my house. Yeah, me either. So I would, like, peek in and kind of see, like, what was in there, but I would never, like, unwrap practice Back at all. when I was a kid, nowadays, I don't get gifts. I get, like, money, or, I like, I tell, my parents, I tell my parents to actually just buy me something. My sister, like, <coughs> the surprise of getting gifts still, but now I just ask for money so I can buy whatever I want. But back when I was a kid, I always used to go into my parents' closet because that's always where they would keep the presents. I go into my parents' closet and look, <coughs> and they wrap that's some sad. presents, but they don't really wrap a lot. But Xander, they wrap all his presents. Oh, so. That's cute. When I was, when my sister and I were kids, we shared a room that was in the, like, main floor of the house right next to the living room, and on Christmas Eve one time I had to go to the bathroom, and I walked across the hall to where, it was dark, and had I been looking, I wouldn't even see, actually I was scared on my mind, I would see Santa Claus and be the one to bust him, but I would walk across the hall <laughs> like this, covering my eyes, because I didn't want to A, bust Santa, or B, see my presence ahead of day. Um, <laughs> would you rather live in a gingerbread house or Santa's workshop? No brainer. Santa's workshop. Please tell me you guys weren't about to blurt out gingerbread oh house. Oh my gosh. I would love I to know. live in a gingerbread house. I'm personally petrified <coughs> of Santa Claus. Like, I've sat Ooh. on Santa Claus's lap once. I've never sat Me on the Easter Bunny's lap. I've never, like, I Santa do Santa not Fight. like costume things. But if it was, like, the real <laughs> deal Santa, the only reason I wouldn't want to live there is because it's cold. So, see, I, like, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I, like... I really sometimes just brain fart, and I'm, I really think that the North Pole's there. Like, I... What is? I mean, like, the Santa Claus movie, Probably North Pole. It's there. Oh, I know it is. I used to work there. <laughs> see, I would... <laughs> she wants to go back. She's homesick. Um, yeah. I just wouldn't pick Santa's workshop, because I wouldn't see much point in staying there, because then you'd oh, see all the presents, and everybody. it's, like, really busy. That would be so much fun. I would love to live in a gingerbread house, because it would smell good all the time, and I could, like, eat my walls. Then I just, like, if like, I'm really regenerate. hungry, I like, pick up a piece of floor and just, I It would know. have to regenerate because I would eat it all, but maybe, like, a yeah, gingerbread house that's, like, a neighbor. Yeah, but you could live in that house for, like, 20 years before you ate all of it. <laughs> That'd be all hard. Apparently, according to Christmas, right. you can. We're Still. gonna take forever to answer this question. <laughs> It'd be hard. We're about halfway. Tell us your Christmas Eve traditions. Oh, we kind of talked about that a little bit already. I don't have any Christmas Eve traditions. I mean, I do. We just wrap presents, basically. 
We don't really do. We don't treat Christmas. We cr treat Christmas Eve like any other day, honestly. Really? Christmas Day yeah. is like really fun, but Christmas Eve we don't really I'm do. Really anything. worried about this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My Christmases have always been good. It's just I the am. way I was. For Christmas Eve, first. we go to. My dad's family's restaurant, like our family restaurant, we have like a little Christmas party and then we leave and we go to my mom's side of the family, which is like really formal. We have like a formal dinner and we do like a gift exchange with that side of the family. And then we usually stay there till the evening and then we'll come home and then I'll go to sleep. And then I, oh, actually I open one present, which is always my Christmas pajamas, put them on, hang out with my family a little bit and then I go to sleep. We, I don't know, we normally just like, Wait, yeah, we wake up and treat it like any normal day, you know, talk, you know, Christmas Eve, yay, you finish. Sometimes we head into town and get, because going to town for us is like a chore. So, um, we sometimes get a couple last minute things and then it get at night, actually we spend, it's kind of like Thanksgiving during the day. Like, because we spend a lot of the day cooking our big Christmas Eve meal, yeah. mm -hmm. which is just between my family, like me, my parents, and my sister, because all of our family is like really far out of town. So it's just the four of us every year on Christmas. And we, um just have like a ham or turkey dinner. They're having turkey this year. Um, I don't know, because I think my mom bought one a while ago and I saw See, it. See, we like do baking on Christmas Eve too. We yeah. do baking and wrapping. Like, we have prepare a for Christmas, but we treat Christmas Eve like yeah. the other day. And then at night, we well after we, we get all like dressed up and then we eat and then we go to a Christmas Eve service out in town and then we come back and I always like stay up past midnight, I don't know. And my, to be honest, my sister and I, like we still read like the night before Christmas and put out cookies and milk, judge me all you want. No, I feel like we have to be both well, extreme. That'll answer a question. We, we leave out that. cookies and milk. Oh, yeah. We but no, I leave out, this is really weird. Sometimes I'll leave out cookies but and milk, but no, I never left out we milk. Do really I, do, I do yeah, I do co uh, cookies and oh, milk glitter. Coke, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And then celery and lettuce sometimes. Cause to, justify my lack, <laughs> to justify my lack of Christmas Eve traditions, we do really cute Christmassy things all through December yeah. leading up to Christmas. Like, we're constantly, we have a fireplace, so we're constantly, like, sitting by the fire and watching Christmas movies and, like, drinking hot chocolate, and we always have Christmas tunes on in our house. So we lead up to Christmas well. It's cute. It's just Christmas but, Eve. You know, I kind of have more. <laughs> kind of more to the answer, but it's the answer to number fifteen. So I'll just wait. Also, so, um, we're not moving anywhere through these I questions. Know. Okay. Um, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Oh my gosh, that's really oh hard. My God. This sounds I'm not like the least like. I I okay, so first my mind went to like people I actually know in real life, but I won't say those names out loud. Yeah, I would be there. Let me, mind, like, to let me think of celebrities. <laughs> Well, okay, when I first saw people doing the tag, I automatically assumed it was supposed to be people you knew. But they um, all were, like, answering celebrities. See, yeah, because, like, but, okay, I, could, like I'm like I could pull out my, my list, my <laughs> naughty and nice list of people that would have kissed them in mistletoe. Um, but, yeah, no, my mind first went to personal people, but I don't want to name names because I know some people watch this. But, okay, celebrities. Guys, then. I think it's clearly Carly and Morgan that I'd like to Yeah, know. obviously. I'm, um, Just kidding. Let's see. Um... Joey Graceffa. Yes, Leonard Austin. They came to mind. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, you know. Luke. I'm not gonna say Luke, Luke. came to mind. But Luke. then I didn't want to mess up. Anchor to See, I would like, say if really I wanted, creepy. if I wanted to be really honest, I'd say like an Asian person, but nobody's gonna know who I'm talking about, so I'm just not going to. But Joey Graceffa's Joey Graceffa's on the list. He's yeah. like my he's favorite. On, okay, I like, die. But I thought Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> he's married. I don't want to mess up any marriages. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of cliche on this one, but Joey's not to be honest, I would not mind Justin Bieber, and I would not mind Louis Tomlinson. So. He's from One Direction. Yeah. yeah. Crazy people don't know that. <laughs> anyway, I mean, just to be Nugs, honest, though. The Nugster. That's who I want to be on the Mr. No, no. <laughs> okay. Um, what tops your tree? This tree has a pink, hot, pink, sparkly star. Which you guys can't see, but it is up there. Yeah. And my big tree has, well, actually, it's really sad. There's no star on it at all. Or we always do a star. We've never had an angel. I don't know why. But we've always done a star. Family She's tree, we sad. normally have what? Yeah, our our family tree, we normally have an angel topping our tree. It's like a, it's almost like a plastic angel. You know how when you stick a light bulb in it, yeah. it lights up? That's what we have. So light comes out of it and it looks like it's glowing. It's pretty cool. Adorable. We have like a stained glass star. Yeah. All right, can you name the 12 days of Christmas? Absolutely. 12 days of Christmas. And thankful. The only I, have reason, to I had to think of it. The I only reason like is because the, so the, the straight note chaser yeah. song. I feel like I could name them, but I have to sing it. It's just like the national anthem. Yeah, I could actually. I can do it best if I. No, I, I can do it from twelve down if I did it in the tune of the Straight No Chaser Twelve Days. Carly, go. It's hold on. It. It's wait, why can't it's like twelve, 12 drummers drumming. Drum. Well, hold on. Uh, it's like on the twelfth day, my true love gave to me twelve drummers drumming, and and then I can do it. Eleven, <laughs> 11 pipers piping, ten lords a leaping. 
Um, then it's nine ladies dancing, eight maids milking, seven swans of swimming, six he's laying, five golden rings, four golden oh, rings, three friends, 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 two turtle doves, and a partridge and a pear tree. That was pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, no, I'd have to actually sing it, and I'm sure there's still some that I would get Ooh, wrong. But yeah, I definitely can because I just did. Carly did it for us. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No. No, I've never. Not want to hear this. <laughs> no. yeah, I've never gone like the door to door. But she says, "Yeah, I know." No, I've never done. You know what I mean? Like not gone with a candle. Oh, holy night! Not like that. Oh, but holy last holy year morning. for my student government, actually, that's where Lexi Maxi is today. Lexi, Lexi. she's missy. Yeah, we love her. Too. She actually watches. She'll be here us. later. She will yeah. be. Um, but anyway, we did. We went for student Maybe government. Maybe do the number one tag then. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. We went caroling to the there's a couple elementary schools around our area and it was a lot of fun because we just like went into their auditorium while they're eating lunch we all looked Christmassy and we just sung really cliche songs what is she oof really cliche songs <laughs> and then Morgan wasn't in choir and she actually can sing do you have a countdown to Christmas if so how many days are left I do on my iPad here oh. but I don't I don't really look the at the 20th, it's the 20th so just five days. Days. I have an epic so calendar have yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys see that in my vlog but I don't actually you have an epic calendar yeah I don't actually have a calendar by the way Christmas. check out our channels after oh this video. guys I will have all of their channels up here you'll see their faces click on those faces and or photos of their channel somewhere on this video you'll see it Carly if you have made a I, I have but, one yeah. video but I'm really like I think for 2013 I'm gonna try like she to should. get into it. Tell her she should. Because especially for cute. college next year, I think it'll be. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I've been like planning it out. <laughs> but nobody actually goes, except for Chelsea. Thank you. And, oh. and, and Kara. Kara okay. I don't know who that is. Okay, right. so no, you just came on your own. Ooh, two thank questions you. left, guys. We're we're getting there. What are some foods and treats you can count on having every holiday season? Um, always, cause. My aunt's a uh, cake designer, so she makes so like bomb good. desserts. Like it's amazing. So, good. so whenever I go down, she has like red velvet cake balls oh, dipped in chocolate. You made those last year. Yeah, yeah. real good. She, I had to get the recipe like, from her. Yeah. And then yeah, my aunts are so much better. And she always makes me my own separate container of banana pudding because banana pudding is like hands oh, down my favorite dessert ever. So always banana pudding and sometimes cream puffs. So yeah, I mean in general everyone's she's always the best like dessert. it's a very like dessert season. Mm -hmm. But particularly the one that like just jumps out at me. I made the other day actually, and you know what it is. Um, my family's Hungarian, and so we have like Hungarian food every now and then. But it's a Hungarian dessert called zserbo, and like I don't even my grandma would just always you know it was kind of like a necessity to her for Christmas time. And it really doesn't scream Christmas at all. It's just kind of like, it's, it's really tedious to make. So it's like once a year thing. And I made it the other day, me and my mom did. And it is really tedious. We made a lot of it though, but it's so good. My it's just like so the, the really fine layers of like, like jam, like raspberry jam or apricot jam. And like, you know, you know, the dough or whatever. And it has chocolate on top. It's very, very good. But then we also just make like regular cookies. And as far as other treats go, I just like a fancy dinner on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. like, you know, with a big turkey or ham. Yeah, I always have a bush de Noel on there, which is like a thing. And that my oh, candy canes and gingerbread men. Yeah. Duh. Oh they're, my gosh, they're scattered throughout my room. I don't really <laughs> eat. We don't. We don't really do. I've never really liked gingerbread men. Oof. But I, I think they, like, we they cannot forget man. Starbucks. Oh yeah. Seasonal drinks. Oh, you know. Oh. I forgot to say that. Yes. Okay, shoes. we're gonna make some later. There. Yeah. And we can show you. And yeah. We, we can do a yeah, video. We can do a vlog yeah. Like that. Oh well, yeah. That's They're just. Really cool. I mean, I didn't make it up or anything. It was on like the back of one of the like Swiss Miss boxes once. But it's just it's really. It's good. like hot chocolate, but it's not hot. It's blended with cold stuff. And I've made like ooh the Chick Fil A peppermint milkshake is so oh, good too. Oh, it's so Never amazing. And I, it's so good. And Our I recreated it. Chick Fil A is really far from us. It is. Do not hate on us for like the Chick Fil A. But um, you know what? I this I don't I won't rant. rant. Let me not rant on Chick Fil A yeah. right now. But I mean, I recreated that the other day. It turned out pretty well though, because I have like peppermint extract and it's peppermint. It's so good. Straight edges or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um. Last question, we did it. Yay! How Ooh, was, I think how, it's like 25 minutes long. That's fine. That's, you can, we have a lot of I can edit it. Yeah. 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 And the, right. the last question says, how has Christmas kept its magic for you as you've grown older? And this is the one that I said I'd answer to later, but you can go ahead. Um, basically just repeating what I said earlier, just, we sort of lead up to Christmas. Like, I really, really, really like the Christmas holiday. Like, it's definitely my favorite holiday, not because of gifts, honestly, just because yeah, of, like, the happy, music, yeah. and everyone's really happy all the time, and the cute. colors. Like, come on, look at us. Like, come on now. Come on. Um, so, yeah, just, like, doing sort of tiny Christmas things. 
um, all through the month of Jan December, just sort of gets yeah. me excited. See, that's why they don't have a tree up, because they do it all through the month of January. January, you know, we're just late Christmas yeah. players. Um, well, I was mentioning earlier how my sister and I still read The Nightmare Before, or not, man. Why do I always say that? The, I've never even seen that movie. The Night <laughs> have you, have you uh, never seen that movie? Don't know. Um, okay. We read The Night Before Christmas, and we set out, like, cookies <laughs> and milk and stuff, because, like, I, like, I am, like, the biggest believer, you know what I mean? And she really, so, I think Santa Claus is real, but society is just no, so corrupt. No, but you're not kidding. Like, chilling. like I have set, like I totally just like space out, and I am on Christmas Eve. As ridiculous as this sounds, because I'm 17, it is so real. Like it's the realest of them all, and so that's why it's exciting for me. That's kind of, like I really do love Christmas because I mean, it's just, uh, and everyone's yeah, happy. Yeah. Like literally, everyone's happy. Like. My, and like, right, when I was a yeah. kid, I feel yeah. like it was more about like, oh, pretty. But now that I've gotten older, like my parents asked me what I wanted this year, I was like, yeah, I want to get into think college. Of, like, yeah. So I think I what I like most about Christmas is like, it sounds she's be like my family coming together, but it's like you break your routine. Like Carly said, like her house is like looks different. So yeah. it's mine. Like yeah. we do different it's things. Really, it's like it's really you're fun. able to come together, and it's like yeah. I really like. And that. I told this is just like a side note. I told them earlier that I'm hoping that my mom has intercepted my college acceptance letters from the mail. And she saved one of them giving me on Christmas. Because that would be such a good present. That really would that be. That would be Except such... for, like, if she wrapped them and then you, like, told Because here's my thing, though. Uh, 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 Everyone what's... else has gotten their letter, regardless what no, it's said. No. no, I mean, for a particular oh, okay. college. okay. I was like... For a particular school. That's why... And plus, it's not online, so... Anyway. My, see, mine, I hate that mine weren't online, but they but, can't do anything. The anyway. Myself. That's um, it that's for all? the Holly Jolly yeah. Tag. Once it? again, I will have all of their... Candace is being stupid. There's I will have all of their channels yeah. and links and everything on this video and also in the down bar if you don't want to click on their faces that's right totally. now. And there will probably be bloopers at the end of this video, so stay tuned if you want to see those. Tell me why the yeah. entire time I've been looking at the screen. Oh, if you think I've been looking at you, that's false. I, There's I two the red men behind okay. you. <laughs> that's what I've been looking at. But that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Comment, like, and subscribe. Send me your requests, and I will see you guys later. later. <laughs>